Man, oh man, oh man. Boy, am I excited right now. Welcome to a brand new video, people. Thank you for stopping by. I know it's pretty goddamn late right now, but I just got done watching Usman versus Gilbert Burns. And man, this went exactly like, I don't want to say exactly like I hoped it would, but the result is exactly what I hoped it would be. You know, the last pay-per-view that I watched, which was UFC 257, where Conor McGregor, one of my absolute favorite fighters, got stopped by Dustin Poirier. You know, that was really, really tough to watch. But this, this right here, this pay-per-view, this one feels like, it kind of feels like when you eat something that's not very desirable, something that's really disgusting, but then you kind of wash it down with like, I don't know, whatever it is that you like drinking, whether it's beer, soda, whatever, juice, whatever it is that you use to kind of get rid of that bad taste in your mouth. That's what this, that's what this main event felt like. Now, this fight that's playing right now, this is one of the fights that I recorded that I was going to upload as a standalone fighter showcase for Usman before the fight. I wasn't able to get to that. Um, what I've done is I've removed the live commentary so I can talk over this first clip. But in the second fight that I'm going to showcase in this video, I'm going to leave the live commentary on that one. So we're going to use this first fight to just talk about the fight that we just watched. Usman. Oh my God, right there. I get dropped. Okay, let's try to let, let's try to ignore what's going on right here. But this is very similar to what happened in the actual fight, in the actual fight that we watched today. So the fight starts off. Of course, we all expected that it was going to be a stand-up fight, right? You know, Usman, whenever he's dealing with someone that's a good grappler, or at the very least, as good as he is with grappling, someone that can threaten him, either with wrestling or with jiu-jitsu, it tends to become a striking battle, right? And um, that's exactly what we figured was going to happen right here. There was no way Usman was going to try to take down Gilbert Burns and, and get on top of him. Not, not when Gilbert is as accomplished as he is in the world of jiu-jitsu. I mean, the threat there is just astronomical. So Usman avoided that correctly, and the, and the fight started off on the feet. About a, a, a minute or so into the fight, a very similar sequence to what happened between Junior Dos Santos versus Cain Velasquez, where it's a throw-on-throw -throw situation. One guy throws a jab, the other guy throws an overhand right. The overhand right lands close to the temple or a little behind the ear. Your your um your balance gets disrupted. You fall down. That's exactly what happened. Usman tries to come in with a jab at the same exact time. Gilbert Burns throws a very, uh, very short, very tight overhand right. Sits down the Kamara Usman. Literally drops him, and of course Usman pops right back up, recovers really quickly, and the fight starts back back again. In that moment, man, as I'm watching this, I was like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, this is not going well. Because not only was there, it seemed like there was like a clear power difference, but with Usman, man, every single time he got hit, his reactions were exaggerated. Like, his poker face, when it comes to striking, it's, it's not at a high level yet. And, you know, that's something that you develop with time. You know, with time, with experience, the more you get hit, the more you get trained, the more you spend time striking. That poker face, the ability to, to get hit but not show that, oh my god, I just got hit with a good shot. That takes a long time for a strike. It's actually one of the last things a striker gets good at. Like that's what separates the good from the elite. You know, strikers that are able to absorb punishment without making it obvious that they did. So every time Usman would get hit, he would kind of show it in a very exaggerated manner that, oh, I just, I just got touched. I just got hit. That hurt. And so in my mind, I thought, man, it's only a matter of time before this guy gets gets hit with another bomb and potentially gets stopped. But that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Usman started working the jab, working that jab. It was a clean jab. It was a clean jab that was straight down the pipe, a lot of power. And right before our eyes, the jab starts to work wonders on Gilbert Burns. And I don't think he expected that. The jab was long. There was a clear reach advantage, of course. So Usman was able to keep him, uh, keep him at bay, almost from kicking range. And he would step in with a very stiff jab. It wasn't like one of those like pity pad jabs where you're just kind of touching the guy. It was like he was using the jab like a weapon, and it was, it was landing. It was doing a lot of damage. And with that, going into round number two, 
Eventually, Usman was able to drop this man. At some point, I believe it was round number two, Usman landed a beautiful pull counter as well. Just overall, man, his training with Trevor Whitman, you can just tell that this dude, his striking is, is it's it's becoming a lot more refined. You know, it's it's rough around the edges for sure, but it's becoming a lot more refined. He's keeping it simple. He's not spending time learning how to throw spinning back fists, spinning elbows, or you know, wheel kicks to the head, or all of that. It's he's keeping it simple. The basics, the jab, the cross, footwork, keeping yourself at the right range at the right time, moving your head, blocking strikes properly, some stance switches in there, just doing all the right things to elevate his game and turn himself from, you know. Someone that you could potentially consider like a one-dimensional fighter who just likes to wrestle and hold you against the cage. But now, now he is becoming like, I think like at this point, he's he's one of the most well-rounded fighters in the game right now. And he's only getting better, which I find to be absolutely impressive. So, man, he ends up winning the fight, beating Gilbert Burns, stopping him in a very very impressive manner and um and i think that's what i'm about to do to, to whoever it is that i'm fighting right now as you guys can see right now the fight this fight is happening on the feet and let me just talk about this fight a little a little uh, a little bit here i remember what my opponent was trying to do in this fight was he was trying to plant his feet and i've talked to you guys about that in the past i get rocked right here i don't know if i got dropped here maybe but my opponent was trying to cause a car crash every single time he would wait for me to come in that he would plant and he would rip and when he was doing that what i what i started trying to do was the moment he does that back up and look for a head kick brute force so you guys will notice me right there there it goes looking for a head kick and now he's like he's slipping and trying to counter with the cross and you'll notice he's not really trying to come in too much like i said he's just trying to cause a car crash every single time so yeah, he backs up, waits for me to advance a little bit, then he comes right into me. Right there, I'm landing some leg kicks on him. Another leg kick, and this round is going to be over. There we go. But yeah, man, what a main event. What a main event. That fight, this is not, it's not what I expected. It really is not. It, it really isn't. Like, I knew the fight was going to be tough. Gilbert Burns, is he's lethal. The man is very good on the feet. He's very good on the ground. Overall, he's just a solid, solid mixed martial arts fighter. Probably the second best in that welterweight division right now. And I did not think Usman was going to be able to, uh, you know, I feel like he could beat him for sure. Like, of course, I thought Usman could get the win, but I just, I did not think it was going to go that way. I didn't think he was going to stop him. I thought... What I thought would have happened, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you thought this as well, is perhaps Usman would, you know, muscle him to the cage, hold him against the cage, shoulder strikes. You know, of course, the uh, the uh, the glamorous or not so glamorous uh, foot stumps, you know, knees to the body, just overall working like a heavy cage style of fighting where you're keeping the guy pinned. I thought that's what we were going to see. I didn't think. It was going to turn into another Kobe Covington versus Usman style fight where there's a, it's just straight up distance kickboxing. Did not expect that. And I am absolutely glad that is what happened. Which uh, begs the question, like, what do we see next? Like, who's next? He's cleared out the freaking division. He's beat everybody. I mean, he's, except Wonderboy. I mean, he doesn't have a win over Wonderboy. But this man has a win over Leon Edwards. He's got a win over Gilbert Burns. He's got a win over Jorge Masvidal. He's got a win over um, Kobe Covington. Like he's, he's got a win over Rafael Dos Anjos. He has been in there with some, like, if you take a look at his competition, I mean, like, we could generally say that he is absolutely 100% the greatest welterweight champion fighter that we've ever seen. Like, I think he is. You know, GSP definitely has an argument right there because of his title defenses. But when you take a look at the competition, like the guys that Usman has beat, you can't really compare, man. You really can't. But um, right there, I catch this man again with a head kick. I sit him down with another head kick. I double up to the body, go to the head, and I think that should do it right here. Nope, it doesn't. And right there, 
hip toss. He tries to escape. I deny that right away. Try to make my way to crucifix, but he's able to stop that from happening. Uh, by the way, by the way, this just reminded me. I will be commentating with the ESFL tomorrow, okay? The fight card begins 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description below. Go right ahead, follow ESFL, and tune in. Before, I act, before we go live, I'm going to remind all of you guys so you guys can show up. Watch me commentate. I'm not going to do this, you know, too much, but I do want to guest commentate from time to time, and tomorrow will be the first one. So pretty goddamn excited about that. Receive my, my little e ESFL merch. Looking pretty good as I finish Gilbert Burns on the ground right there. So there you have it, man. Um, really enjoyable fight. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about that main event, and... Uh, we will go from there. Let me know who you guys think has the potential to actually beat Usman at this point. And for now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the commentary right here. And I'm going to switch over to live commentary so you guys can see the very, the, the second fight that I got for this fighter showcase. So that's it. I will uh, be right back with you guys very shortly. Alrighty, looks like we are, oh, wait, 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 this freaking guy, when did he, is that, is that like, the, is that D Cody, because that name sounds very familiar, like, I know who Cody, oh, wait, I think it's, I think it's the same guy, I think it's the, it, it would make sense that he has a win over me, because he's pretty goddamn good at the game, but, all right, man. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to redeem ourselves. Uh, see, I see. I don't. I don't like running into people with that, where he says like, you know, one win. I don't like seeing that. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves here. And he's also using Gilbert Burns, so you know we're gonna try to. Uh, we're gonna try to try to get it done for the buddy Usman, for the homie. You know. It, uh, come on, don't do that. Don't. Do that. We are both grapplers. Let's keep it. Right. Let's keep it on the feet, brother. Come on now. Come on. I would really like to know when this freaking guy beat me. I'm trying to trying to remember. A lot of times, like, some of my losses are very memorable. Like, like, if I got absolutely obliterated, sometimes it will be memorable. Or if it's, like, a nonsense loss. But I, I really don't remember this one. And it's a little bit weird because I feel like I should remember losing to this man. Because he's he's a streamer, um, a, a jiu-jitsu black belt. If it's, if it's the same Cody, I think it's the same Cody. I think it's the same guy. I'm pretty certain it's the same guy. Um, I do, I, I definitely enjoy watching him. I wonder if he's streaming right now. He's probably streaming right now. I enjoy watching him. I like the fact that he's, he's a, you know, he's a... Oh, come on, bro. Stop trying to freaking grab the back of my neck. Stop it. But yeah, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt. I mean, not a black belt, a blue belt. Last time I saw him. Last time I checked. And just overall, cool dude. So... Definitely don't mind losing to him. It's just I don't remember. I don't like him trying to grab the back of my neck, though. Don't be doing that, bro. I don't want to kiss you. You're cute, but you know, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to get passionate with you. Don't, don't be, don't, don't do it. Don't do. See now, you don't want to do that. Going to my body like that will get you in trouble, bro. Don't freaking do it. Bad. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Usman gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right on the oh, he's mixing it up well now. To the body. Like kick. Okay. Good round. 
I like that. So we drew blood. I was able to I was able to get him with the uh, with the with the uppercut because he he tried to go to my body with a shot. And I caught him clean with the uppercut. He would uh, he would do him well not to do that too often. And we landed quite a few of these leg kicks. We're pressuring him pretty pretty well. I suspect this is what's most likely going to happen in the actual fight, Usman versus like we talked about in the first one. I think. It's potentially going to be Usman moving forward, trying to lean lean against him, against the cage. And, you know, this one might not be exciting. You know, it's, it's definitely a possibility that it won't be exciting. I mean, Usman is, might, he might need to. Oh, come on. Don't do it. He got it. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Usman might need to play this one safe to be able to, you know, to be able to win this fight, he might need to play it safe. But we'll see. Don't do it. I knew it. I knew it. Every time they do that, the, the next thing they want to do is go to the body. I, I just, I know it. I can always count on it. And you guys will see me. Every time when they perform some kind of slip. He got it. When they perform some type of slip, the next thing they're going to want to do is hit your body. Fire off an uppercut. You're most likely going to get it. Uh, come on, bro. Get off me. Yeah, Cody. You're there. We go. I was about to say, you're a blue belt. Does any of this shit make sense? No shoulder pressure to try to. Don't do it. No shoulder pressure to try to get out of uh try to get out of that half guard. Well he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And then that little that little uh reversal was kinda it's kinda kinda weird, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming and when he sees it. Oh, okay. Crosses to the body now. See, he's probably trying to bait me into throwing uppercuts. And that's most likely going to gas me out. Like, every time. So, I'm, I need to try to fight the urge to throw uppercuts every time. Unless we can time it perfectly. Right there. See, I, right there, I don't want to throw an uppercut. Because you, you throw an uppercut after he's already hit your body. You just waste stamina for no reason. So when he hits the shot to the body, just let it go. Accept it. There we go. Almost. He got it. I threw an uppercut right there. It did nothing registered, and I didn't even deny the takedown at all. We're going to burn this round out. Alright, I'm just gonna relax. Okay, this is going pretty good. I feel like I'm winning this fight fairly comfortably. Look at that. Boom! There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, he goes for it. Yeah, he, 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 he performed that forward moving slip into a hook. And when he landed the hook, his natural instinct was to try to hit me to the body. I know that because that's like every player's natural instinct, including mine. If I land a really good headshot that causes a hit reaction, usually I'm going to want to hit your body. And because I know that, I just fire off an uppercut every time, every time that happens. And, you know, usually nets me positive results. So, see what I mean right there? <laughs> Careful. And right there, you guys saw it again. Rocked. Can I sit him down? Yes, I can. This is the danger zone right here. Body, head. Body, head. Your body? Let's see. Okay, he didn't go to my body right then. Oh, he got me. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was gorgeous, brother. That was gorgeous. And just with that 
But I'm gonna bank on my stamina being better than his. I'm gonna push this man. I'm gonna push him. If he's gonna shoot takedowns, I might as well force it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but no. you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really Careful. shown any signs of slowing down tonight. Got him. There we go. Oh God, there we go. Another one to the head. Jab him. Careful. To the head. Sit and duck. No, I don't want this. I don't want this. Freaking burn out my stamina trying to throw ground up pound. I want it clean on the feet. There it is. There we go. All right. Redeem myself with that one. GG. GG. And um, I think this is where we're going to end it. These these fights were fairly long. So the video should... <clears throat> excuse me. The video should be about like 20 minutes. At the, at the very least, about 20 minutes. That's good enough for me. I'm kind of tired of waiting for welterweight. Right now, it's the middleweight and the welterweight division. And the game keeps cycling middleweight to me over and over again. What I want is the welterweight division. They don't want to give me the welterweight division. I'm tired of it. So I'm just going to do two fights, call it a day. Two good fights. Two good fights against Gilbert Burns. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section who you guys are picking to win the fight. I do think Usman will get it done. I'm leaning towards Usman. I just think it might not be the most exciting fight in the world. You know, who knows. But we'll see. Thank you for watching. You guys are absolutely incredible. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.